Well, shalom, ladies and gentlemen. This is a sequel or part two to this restoration project, the Pyramid Restoration Project. Instead of the RIP, it's RPP. Okay, instead of RIP, which is um, a resident incumbent pissing on us, it's RPP, it's the restoration of the Pyramid Project. And I'm part of it, I'm Shamu's uh, executive director, and that's another story that we're going to talk a little bit about right now. It involves marijuana cultivation in Egypt. Lots of it for the boats that we're going to be making. They were made out of wood, remember? Uh, they were hijacked, that technology was hijacked along with the people that were taken as uh, slaves originally. They just used their boats against them, okay? Isn't that the case? Uh, you give a kid a gun, the first thing he wants to do is shoot another kid or an animal or something. So we've got to remove that from the equation. In the meantime, we've got to build a garden in Syria because that's really the promised land. We can all kind of tease forward and assist in this. You know, I'd like kids to be making pictures of what kind of animals they'd like to see. I think the signal really is, I think the signal is black and white balloons. Okay, we just helium fill them and we have a lot of them. Okay. They're like zebras, okay? I don't want to send those equines in there yet uh, in t because they carry fur, okay? Uh, we need to put rhinoceroses in and hippopotamuses. They'll keep the alligator honest. The one crocodile we're going to put in there, he'll be real nervous, um, and we're going to keep him alive. He's got plenty to eat, folks, but he won't eat the hippopotamuses and he won't eat the rhinoceroses, and they'll kind of stomp around in there and smash stuff, and I guess the pigs will root it up anyway. But we put peanuts in there, and they all root around for that, and it cleans up the dirt, okay? That's the dirtiest, it's the, it's the oldest, bloody, bloodiest carpet on the planet. And so many people have died by the edge of the sword over there. It's just a continuation of the bad resonance, um, metallic ionization, collectivization. It's just soaked the earth with blood, folks. And we've got to get that stopped. And we send the pigs in first, okay? Barack, are you listening? The hole and the time is getting smaller. It's still available that before we lock ourselves out of this thing, folks. What? Before we lock ourselves out of this thing, let's do something to open up this gap and send some pigs through. Because people who are on the other side of this equation who haven't even been born yet. And we need to save them from an encroaching uh, cataclysm, it would be a scandal. It would be a scandal. And, uh, you know, kids deserve better than, than being in the dirt, okay? Uh, we just need to get them because they all kind of look like Syrian kids and Ethiopian kids. And we got to save them because they're going to save us if they work the garden for us or with us. Look, maybe a good, here's another rule. Maybe you can't go in there unless you got your shoes off, okay? Nobody's allowed in there unless they take their shoes off. Okay, it means we got to keep the the, uh, the the roads clean, and uh, that means we've got uh, savanna cut grass, and that also means we don't plant dandelions. Okay, they're not native, so we just don't plant them. Then they never establish themselves as a weed. Okay, uh, seeds get carried on wind just like uh, biological spores do. So uh, we just don't introduce those, and we'll have golf court car-sized savanna thing. This is practice for the Kenyan savanna, Mr. President, okay? This is an audition. Have you done anything yet? Are you listening to these? Are any of these messages getting through? Uh, is anybody forwarding any of this stuff? Our time is closing. Now, we've got this gap here that's sort of permanent. If we establish a boundary and reconnect the life and death cycles uh, appropriately, because the pigs are the garbage disposals, uh, the flies aren't supposed to be. So we know how to catch them too. Uh, because the decay will just draw all those baits in, and they'll just be baits for other things. So we can just contain this and turn it into the big flush pot for a while and uh, restore. I mean, Saudi Arabians are growing, what is it, plastic bottles, glass bottles. We can run the irrigation piping in and desalinize the water on the way, recollect the, the salt, and use it for potash and everything else, uh, and put it on the land and really make it fertile. And, you know, isn't this a great idea, the alternative to drone bombs? I mean, I'm going to drone on about this, and I'm trying to save people from their own middle, their own metallurgical uh, iconology. Is that a problem? Do we really need more of this? Uh, trains that are running with no passengers? What? Nobody's here? Listen, there's a guy singing, okay? I don't even know what he looks like. But I'd rather listen to him 
then death counts growing in the air. Okay, so we've got another one. It's a uh, six. Uh, oh golly, it's six. Uh, right, it was five minutes. It's six. Oh look, it didn't ever hit six six six. That's good news. I'm out.